Hello everybody, my name is Elliot and welcome to Hush Hush and um, who's... Oh, it's Sonic, that's right, say hello. He was just at Gamescon earlier, at the time of this recording because of the new uh, Sonic Frontiers trailer that showed. And um, my opinion looks interesting, that doesn't matter now because it's HERO TIME BABY! And also for information I just like to get out there, I've played this game up until July 3rd of the game. So, um, let's get into this game. So I know what I'm doing. Um, so yeah, spoilers if you want to read this. Um, check mark this, do not read this again. Wait, hold on. It's time for Hush Hush Baby, let's go! It's the beginning of summer when you receive the letter. Your hometown is so cold and wet despite it being on the verge of summer, which is why perhaps it catches your eye. You have won a free vacation, the novelty en envelope says, which is ocean blue and covered with pictures of sand, sun, and pretty people on a beach. On any other day, you would have thrown the letter away, likely after making a joke about IRL spam mail. But the dreary weather's wing on you, and for a moment, the fantasy of a getaway vacation is somewhere warm calls to you. You can almost hear water rising around you, tranquil and blue, as the waves set. At the, as the waves beckon you to cast aside your clothes and run laughing into the surf. So you decide to open it. After all, what's the harm of opening an envelope? You're surprised to see that not only is your full name on the letter, but the paperwork looks legit. There's a voucher for a plane ticket. Instructions on where to find the key for your house rental. After reading the letter six or seven times over the letter, <laughs> weird wording of me, you can't help but conclude it's genuine. You've won a vacation to a resort town on the west coast called Sub Rosa. The letter describes Sub Rosa as the perfect summer vacation spot. There are shops, world-class wineries, bakeries, and cafes, and gorgeous beaches that stretch for miles. Inside, you find more photos of beautiful men and women playing in the sand, sharing a romantic glass of wine, kissing in the moonlight. Ah, yeah. With the sound of surf in the back of your mind, you arrange your vacation time and immediately start to look forward to the summer. The days pass slowly. July can't come fast enough. On the night before your flight, with everything packed and ready to go, you set several alarms to make sure you wake on time. You wake up on time. It's a it's probably a typo. Not on the care. There's no way you're missing this. At first, you have no idea how you're even going to sleep. Your excitement on only growing as you settle in for the night. But sleep comes quickly, and with it, the dream. You become aware of the sound of water. Drowning music plays in the background. Fuck. <laughs> Everything is dark, you feel weightless, floating freely in SPACE! With no real sense of up or down. And all around. You feel no urge to breathe. The water is neither hot or cold. After a few moments, a great current begins to push you. You open your eyes and see a great light ahead, where the water is leading you. You break the surface of the water and see ruins? Strange, ancient structures bathed in sunlight. You are where you are dreaming, but it feels so vivid and real you, that you can't help but feel strangely vulnerable. A voice calls out. Come. We have been waiting for you. You wade towards the ruins under your feet. The rocks are smooth and tough as sand. It's tough and... As though step by hand, I meant to say, fuck. When you reach the shore, you hear the voices again. Come to us. Yes, come. You 
climb up a stony slope and find an open area, almost like a Roman amph amphitheater. I don't know. That's when you see them. <laughs> Two beautiful women, one dazzling and bright, the other dark and mysterious. Both of them have wings, and the flowers set in their hair like a tiara. The one in Dazzling Night reaches her hand to you and smiles. Welcome, Chosen One. We are so very happy to meet you at last. I am Copernicus, the Goddess of Light. I'm Thelema, Goddess of Shadows. <coughs> we have brought you here because we have a matter of grave urgency we need your help with. You received and accepted an invitation to Sub Rosa. Exactly where we need you. Wait, you beat me up in my house or something? For know. you see, without your help, there are five girls that are doomed to perish. Oh shit. I gotta say, I'm liking where this is going. Yeah, the top one's my opinion. This is just a dream. No, chosen one. It is real. Do not allow your heart to dismiss this as myth and fancy. Well, it's sort of a dream, but we're real, and the danger is more so. Here is the task. Each of the five girls you must save are living in Sabrosa, and each of them are concealing secrets that will prove fatal if not brought to light. They could be hiding them from their families, their friends, or even themselves. Secrets are funny like that. You must find okay. each of these five destined girls. You must gain their trust and friendship, and maybe even their hearts, so that they will open to you. Hmm. Jupernicus opens her hand, revealing a, the bud of a rose which blooms and opens in her hand. Oh, Only once you know their secrets can you hope to save them. If they don't trust you, they won't tell you. Do whatever you can to gain their trust, admiration, affection, lust, whatever works. How will I know if... How will I know which five are the destined ones? You will know. At first, you may not recognize them, but your feelings will guide you. You'll gain a sense of how they're feeling, and how much they like you. Don't sweat it. Finding them's the easy part. And while you are working to rescue them, you may be presented with situations that require difficult choices. Okay. I implore you to follow your heart, and stay in the path of the light, at nearly any cost. No one's ever told me that. But of course, not the cost of their lives. If you have to lie, cheat, steal, or inflict a little violence, that's just the way it is. But your quest can be done with the hero's way. Sure, but if you get stuck between a rock and a hard place, well, who's judging you? We're judging them. Yes, but only to prove something to each other. Whatever their choices are, the lives of the five destined are your only concern. But try to be heroic. Or not. Do you understand all we have said? Do you accept your quest? Do it. It'll be fun. You may have time to pick up a few other lovers in the meantime. Thelema! Don't distract them! What do you say? Yay or nay? <laughs> yeah, as in yay, best quest ever. Why was if I press? As you wish. It is not for us to decide your choices. If we have not stirred your heart, perhaps we have failed to impress upon you the need. Too bad. Spoiler warning, if you had pulled off this quest, we had a special reward for you. What? <laughs> I 
I don't think I need the sensors. I think I'm okay. Flame <laughs> presses her boobs. <laughs> Flame presses her boobs into Copernicus and kisses her softly. Once softly. Good God. Then she turns to me. Maybe another time. Oh, by the way, your trip is cancelled. Enjoy your vacation in your apartment. Sure enough, there's a notification on your phone alerting that you have been the victim of a Farlin spam email. Somehow they've drained all your credit cards and stolen your identity. You're not sure how, as you never gave them your credit card. It's going to be a lousy vacation. Maybe next time, choose to play the game. Well, that's the end of the <laughs> I got the game over screen at the earliest point possible? Oh, wow, that's insane. <laughs> Wow, that's <laughs> insane. All right, cut. Okay, I'm back. Um, fucking wowzers. <laughs> All right, we're back here now. So, um, of course I'm doing the quest. I'm here to complete a game, duh. Best quest ever. <laughs> I'm deeply pleased at your zeal. I'm not really one for enthusiasm, but okay, sure. Yay. <laughs> Travel to Sabrosa, find the destined five girls, and discover the secrets which are imperiling their lives. And, spoiler warning, if you pull off this quest, we have a special reward for you. Oh, um, <clears throat> cut. And we're back. It's time to start the game! <laughs> you awaken suddenly, your alarms are all going off. You leave your house in a bit of a chaotic mess and rush to the airport. It isn't until you're on the plane that you finally have a moment to reflect on the dream. Was it real? Are there really five girls in danger? One way or another, you're determined to find out. Sub Rosa, baby. At the airport, you are given a rental card, like everything else, it's already paid for. As you drive into town, you pass a sign that says, Welcome to Sub Rosa, the coastal blue. It's extremely early when you arrive where you are staying. A beautiful two-story house in a quiet neighborhood. You drop your things and decide to start exploring the town. Maybe at the beach first. Before you begin your adventure though, would you like a tutorial hop on how to play Hush Hush? I've played the demo a couple of times, so no. Sounds like you know what you're doing. I know what I'm doing. Back to the story then. I'm not hearing the dialogue well enough, so um Jumping back into your car, you take a moment to look at the map for the best way to the beach. Adventure! Hold on, I'm gonna save. There's 10 slots to save. Uh, uh, let's do this one. And, uh, no, I'll do it. I'll do it after this. But, um, to the beach! Pretty. As you arrive at the beach, you see tons of people playing sun, sunning and swimming. It's crowded, but everyone is laughing and having a great time. Just as you're stepping on the sand, a pretty stranger with rainbow hair comes running up towards you, running up to you, chasing a frisbee. Ah! Oh, it's just not fair! Curse you, adorable little flying disc! Turning against me, I shall have my revenge! 
Ninja! Oh, hello there. I didn't notice you as I was flailing around, trying to snatch this little beauty from the skies. Ah, <sighs> how unfortunate. We almost bumped into each other. That could have been awkward and interesting. Ah, uh, just my <coughs> luck. First I miss a catch, and then I almost miss a catch. Well, don't just stand there looking scrumptious. Say something flirty. I think her flailing was really nice. All things considered. Was that frisbee fired out of a cannon? Pew! <laughs> yes, yes, in a sense. My sister has biceps to die for. And we positively tickled to hear them described as cannons. Yoo-hoo! Eero! Come over here! This little beach bunny is saying nice things about your physique. And I want to live vicariously through you. Gosh, Eli. You're so lazy today, even for you. I'm not sure you and I have the same idea of what go long means, but it means you need to run. I'm trying so hard not to fanboy. Darling, I'm garbage without a pair of heels, and I can guarantee that I have a much different meaning for the phrase go long. Ah, uh, my favorite part of going to the beach, the part where Eli talks about penises. Speaking of polite conversation, who's this? Floppy. Hero, my no. dear sister, this sweet little sour key has mistaken me for the beautiful maiden that I am, which means I have won the bet. The dress looks better on me. I win. Are you serious? We've only been here nine minutes. Oh, the truth hurts, and your tears are like the sweet brine of a victory at sea. Pay up! I want to buy something utterly useless and inappropriate. There's the face. I love that face so much. <laughs> Stupid, sexy Eli. Wonderbar! All right, I'll be back shortly. The two of you should chat, though. You have so much in common now. <laughs> Ta-ta! I'm never going to hear the end of this one. Eli already has to help me with my makeup and hair. Now it's going to be my wardrobe, too. Get the fuck out of here. Well, she did look pretty good in that dress, so I has it to be. Alright, thank you. Okay! <laughs> well, thanks. Yeah, this frisbee is all me for sure. Oh, that's cool. Picked it out myself. Thought it went well with my motorcycle. Motorcycle. The name's Zero, by the way. And the magic space princess that ran off with my money is Eli. As you can tell, we've got a thing for rainbows. And don't even get us started on ponies. No, really. We get real awkward real fast. I'd say judging from the lack of tan lines, you're probably from out of town. She is true, I don't have any time. I'm here for a month, hoping to see a sight if it could happen. <laughs> Nicely done. I see that you're aware of the shortest route to a girl's heart is through her ridiculously toned arms. Well, you seem like a normal person with normal intentions. And given some of the locals I know, normal is a pretty endearing trait. Endearing? Well, I'm gonna hang ten for a bit. The tide is calling for me. No, seriously, look. Can you see? It's waving. Oh man, I'm so funny. Anyway, nice chatting. Maybe I'll see you around. Okay, Hello! Goodbye. I'm back! Actually, I never left. I was spying on you guys from over there. I was hoping you'd make a nice impression on my lovely sister. You see, she is part orangutan and does not know how to socialize. Her friends and I are always trying to help hook her up. Ah, oh, alas, orangutan. And she's such a cutie, too. I wish I had inherited the same butt genes she has. But okay. maybe I'm off the mark here. You've got this look about you. What is this look, even?
have no idea why, but I just... But I'm... Oh, wait, no... This one? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Slow it down, you saucy potato! Acting like a creeper is really more of a third date sort of thing. I fucked up again! <laughs> The trick with Eero is that she's super off the market right now. She's been practically a nun for the last nine months. Her last breakup was ugly! So the only way to spike that football is to take it to the end zone. And by end zone, I mean friend zone. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Oh! I just made a little sports analogy! Eero would be so proud of me! But yes. You should be thinking less tight pants and more pajama bottoms. Be a friendly friend. Get to know her while avoiding anything sexual. I can do that. This easily. honestly sounds like kind of a nightmare, but you can do it. It's not. I, I, I can do it. So unless you've got mad game and you can prove me wrong, I would suggest trying to keep your eyes off her redonkulously supple cleavage for a few outings, and she's likely to relax her guard. I can do. I can do that. I can so do that. Think you can handle that? Eli, I can do that. I I did wrong dialogue choices, but ah! hey, what? That's bad. Censor. <laughs> Hearing a distant scream, you just you look over just in time to see Hero flailing wildly on her surfboard, just barely ahead of an enormous wave. Whoa! 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 She regains footing for a moment before the wave crashes down her, sending her careening into the water. Okay. She emerges from the surf, holding her side and laughing hysterically. You know, you notice immediately that her bikini cup is missing, and you notice several times more. Dude, <laughs> calm down. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I got stuffed in the barrel <clears throat> hard back there. Hey, what's wrong? You two look like you've seen a ghost. Of a sort, my dear. More like the icy pail of flesh that hasn't seen the sun in years. Oh, whoops. <laughs> well, I guess the girls could use a little more tanning. People are generally a bit uptight when you surf naked, though. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> right. What a person does in the privacy of their front yard is their business, I always say. Yes! <laughs> oh dear, I've hurt my ears! Naked lawn mowing. I don't need another fetish. Let's hit the road, Eli. That bikini is lost at sea. And I've flashed enough strangers today. Ah, uh, parting is such sweet sorrow. At least if we get pulled over, the chances of escaping a ticket are hella good right now. It was nice chatting with you. Maybe I'll see you around. Later. Goodbye. This isn't over. Is that a threat? Um, let's head to the mall. Arriving at the mall, you're somewhat taken aback by the sheer size of it. We're in 300 stores on three floors. Most malls have probably that amount of stores, but don't anymore because no one goes to malls anymore because of... Finding a parking spot alone takes more than 20 minutes, and by the time you reach the front entrance, you're already noticeably hot and somewhat winded. Luckily, the distant chill of a powerful air conditioner greets you as you enter. The smell of popcorn and fancy chocolate promises you, you things are better in here. Yeah, I'm not trying to get diabetes, okay? <laughs> you explore a bunch of the shops as you slowly make your way, <clears throat> peeking into more than a dozen shops offering hats called caps. Why are they called cappies? And passing by a suspicious number of cinnamon buns, because calling cabbage will get into millions of copyright claims from Nintendo. Finally, just as you're passing a store called the Cheek Boutique, you hear a familiar voice, Yoo-hoo, from the back of the store. Uh, Yoo-hoo! 
Why, look who it is! My cute little beach bum buddy! I'm Hello. so glad you're here! I didn't get the chance to give you my and Eero's num-nums while we were frolicking on the sands! Hand me your phone! I shall correct this grievous oversight immediately! There! Done! Now you can send Eero all the cute kitty memes your heart desires, and fill my inbox with all the dirty little text your mind can conjure! Okay, cool. Just be super careful not to mix those two up! Can you imagine? Sending me kitty memes! <laughs> I'm practically squeeing my face off just thinking about them! <sighs> now, other than another fantastically fateful meeting with yours truly, what brings you to the mall? Did you run out of gum while you were out kicking ass? Do you just like the smell of air conditioning and chubby tourists? Meme reference. I always love meme references. <laughs> Do you just like the smell of air conditioning and chubby tourists? What the fuck? Yeah, like, look at me. I'm, I need some help. Yes! At long last! Destiny has called my name, and I shall answer! For what you need, you have come to the right place. You have come to Eli. Alright, enough small talk. Let's get down to business. As you can see, you are standing in Cheek Boutique, where all your dreams come true. It also happens to be my throne of power. Okay, cool. Here at Cheek Boutique, fashion is our passion ration. And I would love, love, love to make you my lovely little Autobot and help transform you. I'm going to hand you clothes, you're going to take them to the dressing room, and you're going to put them on and start whispering tearful thank yous to your Eli. Okay, chop, chop, chop. Fortune favors the bold, and judging by what you were wearing when you came in here, you're most definitely the bold type. Oh, and don't look at the price tags. Those are merely suggestions, like pants and speed limits. Here okay. you go, here you go, here you go. All right, you're set. See you shortly. Thank you for the clothes. Now I'll go over to the fancy changing room with easily two grand worth of designer clothes. Eh, I think that's overkill, don't you think? Including at least one pair of assless chaps. Cool. For a moment you feel utterly lost, as there's no signs directing where exactly you're going to be. You awkwardly try to see if anyone is already in the room, but it's too difficult to tell. Just as you decide to turn back and summon Eli for help, your foot catches the corner of a short bench causing you to toss your Excuse me, I'm sorry. Your armload of clothes and topple into the changing room. Oh, just... Oh, fuck me. Not her. Revealing a beautiful girl changing her clothes. Oh my god. I... Don't know if I should censor this or not. Maybe you would just say... Time feels like it slows down as the two of you stare... At one another in surprise, every detail seems important. The, sh the sharp gold of her hair, the silly ears on her hat, the soft white frills of on her underwear. The moment feels impossibly intimate. The softness of her breast, the firmness of her butt. Why not just go with boobs and ass? Her quiet expression of surprise. You perv! You're dead meat! Oh. A well aimed high heel shoe clobbers you, and you drop to the floor stunned. You see a flash of blonde hair and soft boobs dash past you before everything goes black. You awake sometime later to a concerned Eli. Oh, wowzers! That's quite the bump on the old noggin. She got you good. I mean, this scar, this little boo boo on my nose can probably be one the reason. Ow, that sucked out. A hot naked girl knocked me out, I think. <laughs> Where am I? Ooh, memory loss? Well, if you happen to develop amnesia, let me know. I'm your next of kin, and you've left your entire fortune to me. Okay. I have Lucky you! You have just had the pleasure of meeting one of Sub Rosa's more colorful residents. 
Her name is Cassie, and she is a firecracker thrown into a burning microwave. She comes in here all the time, tries on all the clothes, usually stuffs the odd thing into her bag, but... Oh dear lord, did you see her nails? That girl is a wizard with the filing board! She sounds like a handful. She actually sounds like a handful. Did you say she's shopless? Eh, just a thong or a bra here and there. One time she stuffed a dress into her purse, which I found to be an impressive feat. I mean, I would call the police or confront her or something for the shoplifting, but in all honesty, I'm super lazy, and everything she takes looks so good on her. Christy, Eli, what are you doing? Would you like her number? I've got it here. I snooped through her phone once when she was trying on some lace panties. Beep, boop, beep. There you go. Just a word of the wise. Don't coddle that one. She's got daddy issues written all over her. Oh, and don't forget about Eero. I forgot I was trying to hook you up with her. Eero is so sweet and a tiger in bed, I imagine. A tiger in bed. All right. Whoops, look at the time. I need to take my two hour lunch. Thanks for dropping in again. See you soon. Bye. Okay, goodbye. Tis the evening to the arcade. Pulling into the parking lot. Oh, Sonic, get back here. You're good. Pulling into the parking lot of the arcade is a mixed bag of experiences. Somehow you already hear children screaming, and the mini golf course looks like a health hazard. Why? That's fun for all for everyone. How are you? Sign that says plus rated A pub fully rising. And you feel a little better, you walk inside. <clears throat> As you walk into the arcade, you sen your senses are immediately assaulted by the mess of sights, sounds, and smells. The blaring alarms, the blaring of alarms, and the flashing of lights hit first. And then the odd smell of old carpet and greasy food joins in that. That's no good. Making it to the bar, you've barely caught your bearings when you're surprised by the bartender who pops into your view. She smiles and waves at you for, uh, as you first look at her. Jesus Christ, I'm forgetting words. Or I can't read sentences at all. Hey, hot stuff. Welcome to Rated A Arcade, where the beer and boobs aren't pixelated. Here are your complimentary quarters. Quarters? You mean... You mean... Coins? This month is our hot coffee special. Free lattes with the purchase of 100 tokens. Because my boss thinks ancient memes are dank. My name is Mio, and I'll be your server. And just like a great game server, I never go down. So don't ask. <laughs> what can I get you, sweetheart? Um, yeah. I'll get a mana potion on whatever dialogue option lets me talk to you longer. You're literally the hottest girl I've ever seen. No. That's not a good first impression. Konami code, baby! <laughs> you dork! What, was my top supposed to fly off or something? That's not a cheat, you weeaboo. That's DLC. <laughs> well, that was a solid laugh. <laughs> Thanks. I needed that, actually. Let me go grab you a drink. Oh, don't worry. I got... Could you back the fuck up? She returns with various glasses and bottles and gives you a wink. Okay, thank you. As she begins voyaging, her top slips ever so slightly. Keeping those crosshairs where I can see them, hey? Well, good for you. I hope there's an achievement for that. Yeah, you got that. But just in case it was too subtle, this bar has a certain atmosphere, and I enjoy it, so relax. Okay. So hey, you've got a face, and I've never seen it before. What's your story, mysterious stranger? What brings you to town? I'm here, I'm here for the month on vacation. I hear this face is beautiful, beaches, bartenders, and... Dick joke. I'm on a mission from God. <laughs> well, I like that can-do Belushi attitude. Especially without the can't do Belushi body. You've got a winning combo going on there. Well, oh. most of the NPCs around here hate tourist season, but I'm a fan. 
The regulars here are mostly good, but there's a few that, well, there's another meaning for the word regular, right? Assholes. Anyway, it's just nice seeing new friendly faces around. And abs. Got any abs under that shirt? I'd love to meet them. Um... Well, we've got that in common. I, too, like a nice friendly face. That's why I came to an arcade bar. Okay... This one? <laughs> right? I mean, that's exactly why I'm working here. Well, that's cool. Okay, I'm all for the direct approach, love. What's on your mind? Um... Yeah, how long? Basically winter? ever since my bra filled in. It's just a summer gig, though, for when tourist suckers like yourself are around. Why are you calling me a sucker? Because I suck the dick. This uh, isn't even my main job. I just like having access to unlimited tokens and tequila. I'm basically a god here. Alright, cool. I sense a soul in search of answers. I have no soul. Um... That... Hmm, it's pretty nice here. Though, we've gotten more cautious about shoplifters and ne'er-do-wells recently, I guess. Most of the businesses in town have, actually. There are a few streets and alleys downtown I probably wouldn't hang around when it's dark. Or brightly lit, for that matter. But that's just my keen, don't be a dumbass intuition. Okay, cool. I'm trying to look at that name. I can't see it. So I guess it's not the type of place that's going to burst into song randomly. But not that bad. Hold on. You stay up there for a second. Any more dialogue trees you want to explore? Over if I subscribe to sing like, Take a walk, loser. I'm take a walk, loser. <laughs> that sounds like one of those really deep, soul-searching questions everyone needs to ask themselves from time to time. But I think the best word that describes me is interested. Cool. Has anyone told you you've got a nice voice? You could make it into voice acting full show. No. I think my voice is fucking cringe, but thank you for saying it's nice. No thank problem, you, Detective Phelps, but if you're trying to figure out if I'm lying, I should remind you that my face is up here. L.A. Noir reference, I'm out of here. Goodbye. This game made a fucking Eleanor reference. So, random question. On a scale from 1 to 10, how busy would you say you were this week? Got plans already? I've got a read. I'm afraid that content is educated. I'll need you a phone number and a confirmation that you're not a bot. Da 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 da. <laughs> okay, fine. Here's my number, you nerd. You had me at confirmation I'm not a bot. <laughs> I gotta get back to work. I'll text you, though, and we'll set something up. Okay. And hey, just FYI, you're on a really good roll here. Like, you're in baby boner territory. Don't mess it up. Thank you. I hope to see you later. Ciao. Ciao. It is night the time. Home. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is also cop, too? Alright, so, I'm not doing this, um, actually, well, I'll do motivation. I'm actually going to do it twice. Yeah, I, I know some of that, I don't care, I just imagine when I sleep, but, um, yeah, strange stream last night where there were cats and rats and elephants. Hopefully none of it was symbolic. <laughs> That'd be awkward if it was. Alright, do it. Two levels of motivation. Okay, cool. Alright, save. Alright, nothing happens. Yes. I've got to look at my messages. Shit. I'll look at them later. You approach what looks like a bakery. The sign on the outside says Bonbon's Bakery. The smell of cookies 
and the smell of cookies immediately begins to creep in from all sides. Inside you can see people talking, and a red-haired woman is putting off, putting, is putting out a tray of freshly baked bread. You can hardly resist. As you enter the bakery, the smell of freshly baked bread and cookies absolutely overtakes you. Your stomach growls and your mouth waters as your body starts demanding tribute. Diabetes! <laughs> Looking over, you see two girls chatting by the counter. I got each. For a moment, you almost mistake them for your sisters, given their similarities. Oh. Okay. You walk in during the middle of a conversation. You know, darling, I've never thought about why we bake cookies and cook bacon. That's quite the brain tickler. It must be a mistake, though, right? Is there someone we can ask? Like the president of words? Ew, sweetie. That's not a real person. That's a loopy dream you had when you ate that whole lemon meringue burst of Beyonce I made. That's right. I do remember that. But not much of what happened afterward. They continue chatting happily, not immediately noticing you. Judging by your lack of purchases, the pink-haired girl seems more like a friend than a customer. For a moment, you just sort of caught off as an observer. The two girls are extremely attractive, and their minor conversation makes you makes your heart flutter a little. Not gonna lie, I can. Why not? Finally, through sheer willpower, you clear your throat to grab their attention. Oh, hello, a customer. How long have you been standing there, sugar? Forgive me for being a chatty Kathy. Welcome to my bakery. My name is Bonnie Bell. You let me know if you see anything you like and I'll wrap some up for you. Cool. I already had brownies before this, so... The girl with the pink hair gives you a strange feeling when you look at her. Something tells you that, that you need to figure out a way to talk to her alone. <laughs> a hundred cookies. Yeah, I could take diabetes like right away. I'm looking this one. <laughs> well, now that is quite the order. You must have a sweet tooth like a son of a gun. Wait here. I'll get them boxed up for you. She's actually gonna give me hundred cookies. Are you stocking up your computer? Mine keeps asking me if I accept cookies, but it never gives me any. I wonder if I have to fill it first. This game's amazing. <laughs> oh my god, that's funny. Oh, she twirls her hair and smiles at me. Oh, cool. Before blushing and turning her eyes away. Okay, well. I'm visiting for this. Uh, is it pinecone? <laughs> no, but you were pretty close. My name is Elle. Was that your second guess? Uh, I don't know anymore. I was. Whoops! That's my alarm. I'm late for being early to my book club. Oh. I feel like I know that from somewhere though. Um. Yo, here's my number, girl. Ring me up sometime. No, not that. Before you go, do me a small favor. That. That's interesting. I'm always this forward. It makes it easier to walk without tripping over things. Wait, what were we talking about? Oh, sorry. <sighs> I really am out of time. Thank you for your number. Maybe we'll chat another time. See you later. Good to buy. Alright, sweeties. I've got a big old tray of moss pan with your names on it. And they're shaped like broccoli so you know they're good for you. Yummy. Oh. Elle's gone and disappeared again. That girl is like a busty Batman in a hot pink cape. So how'd it go, huh? Did you manage to get a flirt through to that pretty little girl? I don't know if I tried, but hey. Elle is a special girl who likes to keep her head in the clouds. You seem like a sweetheart yourself, so I'll give you a hand. Here's a little old tip for you. Elle's favorite gifts are sweets, especially cherry cupcakes. I'll give you a few for the road on the house. Yummy. <laughs> now you make sure you're a sweetheart to her, or I'm gonna come at you with my wooden spoon. And lay bonk me in my head. And by the way, sugar cookie, if things don't work out between you and my dear sweet Elle, I might have a couple of special dessert options to cheer you up. <laughs> 
Oh. Alright, message. Yes. I'm sorry. Hey, <laughs> stranger. I'm weird of that. That the weird. I worked at the arcade who was already referred to. Well, thank you for the forts. Speaking of Arkham Inferno, I was kind of hoping to do a little more of that, but like, not, not on company time. I'm not even sure if your interest is available, but I thought I'd take a shot in the dark. I want to go out sometime tonight. Tonight? Ah, uh, sure. I'll give it a shot. When, where, how? I find a hot face. After a mock. Usually, we can head somewhere else where I can knock down, where I can knock down the arcade, but for a minute of the place, I'm sure we'll find something fun to do. See you tonight. All right, that's that's cool. I'm going on take the mall. Hey, Schnookums! I'm afraid I can't stay and chat today. We're having a sale, and I actually have customers asking questions. Oh. Damn tourists! Anyway, let's meet up later. We'll share a milkshake or something. Bye bye. Well, that's cool. Um, where should I go to fill the time? Hmm. I don't have. Pretty much... Now I saw that this can give you hits about the game. I'm like at the town. You pass by a set of shops you've already checked in, but there's something you don't recall seeing. A fortune teller's tent appears to be set up in one of the alleyways. You see symbols and signs of mystical origin in a crystal ball. Oh, I see some effects. Huh, that's cool. You also see a sign that says, Back in 11 seconds. Just as you're trying to decide, decide if the sign is a joke, because the time is too short to be of any use, someone taps you gently on the shoulder. Beg your pardon, just sneaking by. Don't scare, don't scare a customer like that, sir. Please. You see a handsome, you see a handsome man dressed in a wizard robe. He's holding a latte and smiling sheepishly. You're standing in his way. Oops. When you move, he cheers his coffee to you and nods. Thanks, friend. Oh, hello. The man spends a moment moving things around in his tent. This chain goes here, latte goes there. Then he sits, stretches his arms, and gestures to, to the seat across from him. Well then, have a seat. I'm sure you have questions. Oh, new inventory. Nice. Are you for real? More or less. I mean, please don't ask me for lotto numbers or who wins the World Series in 2024 or anything. I'm not into baseball, so you're welcome for that. The man leads forward and whispers. Go Giants. No, that's football. <laughs> who? Which baseball team has... I don't think a baseball team has... A, has Giants on it. I, I honestly don't think there is one. In any case, I was expecting you, but I also was really jonesing for a latte, hence the sign. Eh. My name is Will, by the way, but you can call me Mystic if you prefer. Mystic. I used to call this little business Where There's a Will, but it didn't really bring in the tourism dollars. Hmm. So I changed it to Mystic's Mystical Fortune Telling. And things are a lot more lucrative now. Good job in the name shades, and that honestly worked because the previous name sucked balls. No one wants their palm read by Will. Everyone wants it read by a guy in a robe named Mystic. Should I say you did a good job? But I digress. We should carry on. You're going to be given your first choice to leave now, so I want to make a good impression. 
I don't get many chances to work with people on a quest. Take a seat. I thought you might stay. I won't keep you in suspense, I promise. No, please keep me in suspense. We're, we've been here for... Jesus Christ, only an hour. So I round up in Subrosa rather serendipitously. Unlike most of the locals here, I'm what you might call an outsider. Huh. My journey here was kick-started by an act of generosity. And when I arrived, I was commanded only be helpful. So now, I do this. I peek behind the curtain, look at the machines running underneath the world. And I can tell you a few things that may lead you to the destination you seek. Destiny finds a way. Less talking, more magic. So you know who sent me? Oh yes. How do you know about uh, Copernicus? Those two tried to pull me into the game a few times, but luckily, I usually manage to distract them with a charming smile. Okay. Here's the point. You're trying to learn secrets, correct? Well, I can set you in the right direction. For a reasonable fee. Oh god, really? Cross your palm with silver? Actually, I take all major credit cards. What? Except American Express. Their service fees are atrocious. I'm really glad he didn't say the actual credit card company, because, again, like the Nintendo thing I said earlier, lots of copyright problems. The more I do it, the harder it is, and the more expensive it gets. Huh. And I'm holding a sale for the next 30 seconds. First reading is free. Oh, shit. What do you say? Would you like me to tell you your future? I've <laughs> kind of crazy in my diet. Sure. A wise choice, my friend. All right, let's just get into the right headspace. Cloud my thoughts, please. Mystic waves his hands over to Crystal Ball in dramatic fashion. Whoa! <laughs> he gets a awful look. He grabs his latte and takes a sip. Okay. Then he continues, more dramatic waving. Just as you're growing concerned that maybe Mystic might not be totally legit. Suddenly, his crystal ball begins to glow, and soon after, his eyes do... Okay. He raises his hands and speaks in deep and commanding timbre. Mio's first secret is no pain in the neck. She'll tell the first soul that's savvy in tech. Oh, shit! Well, I failed me already. I fucked up. I, I'm so mattered about Eero, I'm like, fuck the other ones, I only care about Eero. Ah, fuck, well. We failed. We failed Mew. No! Mystic reaches towards you, weak. Quickly, his hand shuddering, but turns it toward his latte and picks it up. He takes a sip. And there you go. The heck was that? That, my dear friend, is what we call a hint. A darn good one, too, if I do say so myself. Yeah, pretty good one. I'm saving that for the future, by the way. Do you know Mio? Sounds like she's impressed with tech savvy partners. Ah. <sighs> Fucked up! Oh, shit! Should be enough to go on for a sharp adventurer like yourself. I don't think All right. so, no. Good luck. I can only do that once a day, so don't bother trying to double dip. Oh. Best of luck on your quest. I hope to see you again. Cheers. Cheers? You leave the alley and continue down the street. I'm not sure if I have to think of the mysterious fortune teller. Okay, so I fucked up. But this is another playthrough. I'll start another one soon. 
Um, but it's gonna. But wow, I screwed up the outro. Oh, my camera didn't freeze. Okay, no, the camera's going. I've been recording for an hour. Okay, it's time to stop here. Um, so thank you, everybody, so much for watching the very first episode of Hush Hush. And uh, yeah, more of me and Sonic endeavors will happen soon. I don't know when, because school's gonna be a is a giant pain in the ass for right now, but, um, with times and such, but we'll see what happens. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Goodbye.